Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. I want to share something that has been sort of concerning me, bugging me over the past few years. Never did in the past because in the past I never used braided line. I've always used the spinning rod and reel and for that usually monofilament was the choice and then as the years went on, they had fluorocarbon line and other polymer type of lines that were used, but they're all very similar. But then the braided com- the companies that were making braided line started saying, well, you can use this on spinning reels. And they made these braided lines thinner and thinner and thinner, and they work really well on spinning reels. But here's the deal. Here's what I wanted to tell you about. I've noticed on some of my reels that I have used when I, when I went to use them again and I pulled the line out, the drag didn't work in my reels. The line just sort of skipped and spun inside. There was no sound of a clicking drag or anything. And I'm thinking, okay, those reels are no good. But then I started realizing it was happening to different manufacturers' reels, not just one brand. And so I started to think, maybe it isn't the drag system. Maybe it's something else. And what I've had to do, and I just did it yesterday. I had two reels and rods that were set up for ultralight fishing that I've been using 10 and 15 pound braid on. And I hadn't fished in a while because of the tournaments and I was so busy trying to bring all this together. And then I went and the drags weren't working. So what I do is I take all the line off the reel. It, you can even do it when you're fishing if you're in an area where you can cast out and just keep pulling the line out. And it's not going to tangle. you got to be careful to do that. But take it all out and just rewind it. And something about the way that line develops a set on your spinning reel or something is causing this problem. So... Why did I want to do a whole radio spot on this? Because I think it can be that pertinent to anybody that is using braid on a spinning reel. Other people are going to find the same thing, but it can be rectified, but it just takes understanding. And I, and I don't, truthfully, I don't totally understand what's really happening, but it happens all the time. And I've rectified it on every reel that I thought wasn't working properly wasn't the reel. Every single reel, when I've rewound the line, it started to work again. So it's still a mystery, and it's a mystery that I'm passing on, and maybe that isn't fair because I'm not giving you the exact reason, but I will tell you that the the way of dealing with it is worked every time. So until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.